Okay, gang, a uh, quick and easy little uh, text uh, tutorial gonna go on here for our computer art class. And what we're gonna get into is just adding a quote over the top of some kind of background image, um, making sure that we give credit to the author of the quotes. And so to get going here, we're gonna go over one kind of new feature um, that we haven't gone over yet is stock search that we have for Pixlr here. And kind of a cool uh, feature that they have where you can search through stock photography, really nice uh, photos that are taken here. And so my quote was, that there are things known and there are things unknown and in between are the doors and that was going to be the quote that I was using so I searched for doors so you'll want to know what quote you're gonna do before you start to search for images a little bit and so you know just looking through they have some really nice images of different doorways um, things like that that I could use for this project and so um, I kinda like this one and so I'm going to go ahead and try this one out. And so you click it. Uh, we'll go full HD as the size we've been working at. Hit apply. And that kind of just gets you started in this project here, working off of a stock image that's um, it's free. It's uh, something available to be used. Um, you know, and so what we can do now is we want to do uh, an add a background layer. So an empty layer. I know we already have a background layer here. We're going to click or double click on this lock to unlock our background image. What we're going to do is kind of take our back this layer. Um, we'll move it behind and we're going to fill it with black. And the reason being that we want to turn down the opacity of this image. And so I'm just going to click to fill uh, this layer black. Oops, I was on the background image. Um, this layer two, I guess it's easier to see what I'm doing when I have layer two up top and then move it back. So like I was saying, once you have that good, we're gonna turn the opacity down of this image or the transparency so that it will help our uh, text stand out a little bit more. So just turning this transparency down to about 70 should be good. And then that just kind of tones down the whole image. So when we put our text over it, it will stand out a little bit better. And so I'm going to take my type tool uh, and click in here. Oh, it will ask me if I want to add in a type layer. And so that's kind of the way you want to do it is to probably hit this plus sign and add in a type layer. I don't see it in there now, but um, I guess it is there. So um, I want to start with a quotation mark. Uh, there are things known and things unknown and in between are the are the doors and this was a quote by the keyboardist Ray Manzarek of the band called The Doors. Ironic, right? Um, and so I'm obviously gonna wanna take the size of this text and turn it way down so that it actually fits in here. And I kinda like having the lines kind of match. I'm um, gonna change my color here to white. We wanna have white text for our quotes. Um, but I like adjusting the lines of the quotes so that you know, it's almost poetic in a way, right? There are things known and things unknown in between. So the way the doors are the doors is the last line, kind of poetic in a way, the way how it's kind of balanced, right? Um, you can choose to kind of make different letter styles, um, things like um, if you wanna change the line spacing or the alignment, you can find those up here. I'm gonna choose a font for this. Let's see, and kinda wanna think about, you know, fonts that reflect, you know, the idea maybe in the, in the quote a little bit. Um, you know, I would lean towards things that are bolder rather than things like this that are outlined. Going to be a little more legible to, um, to the eye, right? And so this is looking pretty good. You know, take some time to choose a font that you think really fits well. Um, 
And that's really all there is for this uh, particular assignment, just adding a quote over the top of an image and, um, and making sure we give credit to the author. I just noticed that I forgot to put in my last quotation mark. And so, yeah, make sure your quote is in quotes and that you give credit to the author. That line should be on its own line, the author. And uh, yeah, make sure that you save your project. File save. As always, we'll give this, uh, we'll just call this quote, JPEG, high quality, download. Make sure that that file gets into your Google Drive and onto Google Classroom, and we are good to go. And there we go. Another week of distance learning lessons in the books. So hope you guys have fun and uh, get creative with your own assignments.